So I pulled up to a stop light uh, yesterday and I noticed this huge plume of white smoke drifting from the rear of the van and I'm like, what is this? So I turn around, go back to my shop, make sure my oil level's good, coolant level's good, everything's good and it's just idling there and there's no smoke or anything. It's really weird. Um, I'd rev it up and I'd see a little puff of smoke you know as I'm revving so I'm like well it's probably not valve seals uh, you know I'm jumping to rings and doing all this but here's what I've noticed as I've come into the stop sign I put on the brakes my RPMs dip down and and then I get an IAC valve uh, code I believe it's code 24 um, I have to double check but anyway I I'm like, man, what is up with this? And then I let off the brake, tap the throttle just a little bit, and the idle stabilizes. And there's no smoke or anything. And then when I start it in the morning, there's smoke. And when I am hard on the brakes, there's smoke. And I got to thinking, well, you know what? There's gotta be something to do with the brake system here that's causing this smoke. I mean, it would be too coincidental that um, I start having this brake issue and I start having this smoking issue. And uh, one other thing that I've noticed over the past month or so is that I've been having to add brake fluid to the reservoir. It's just been mysteriously disappearing. There's no uh, leaks from the uh, wheel cylinders or the calipers or brake lines or anything, so it's going somewhere. And this is what I think is happening. I think that the master cylinder is leaking into the brake booster, which then the engine is pulling all the way from the front of the van, all the way to the engine and sucking in brake fluid and causing smoke to happen. So uh, I'm gonna investigate this a little bit and, uh, and see if we can just disconnect that uh, vacuum line to the brake booster and see if that solves the idle issue first, the smoking issue, and obviously I won't have very good brakes, but at least we'll kind of troubleshoot it from there. Okay, so on the intake manifold, here's the nipple for the brake booster. So I'm gonna undo this spring clamp. Um, I'm going to block off this nipple. I'm just gonna put some tape over it um, until I can get the cap. I'm not at my shop, so um, I'm at, at my house and I don't have a whole lot of stuff here. But anyway, if I can find a cap, I'll just throw a cap on there. But uh, I'm gonna disconnect this and start it up and drive it around real slow because I'm not gonna have very good brakes. It's basically gonna be without power assist. And we'll see if I can um, replicate what's going on. Looks a little moist in there, but not gobs of fluid coming out. But yeah, there's definitely, I don't know if you can see that sheen in the video here, but there's definitely fluid on that nipple. So, <laughs> I think this is going to work. Alright, so no smoke after about a day of driving without uh, power boosted brakes, and um, absolutely no smoke. So. I am super stoked about that. Um, all the brake fluid uh, got burned off and I am going to have to order a master cylinder, a new brake booster, or have it rebuilt. And uh, I'll also probably replace that vacuum line from the vacuum booster to the, um, to the engine. So anyway, I'll keep you up to date with that.